Hello again, friends. This is Josh here uh, from Cursed Breath. I am coming to you today to talk about one of my favorite bands of all time. Um, this was the band called Scarlet. Um, this band was a metalcore band that started, I believe, in 1998. Um, and they went on and off um, on hiatus and um, throughout the years and then I think eventually broke up in 2008. Um, so they had some of my favorite albums of all time. They had the uh, Something to Lust About EP from 2003. Um, they had the Cult Classic album um, from 2004. Um, if I had to make a top 100 albums of all time, or my top 100 favorite albums of all time, this would absolutely be on there. Um, Scarlet was a metalcore band that uh, traded um, a lot of members with the bands Bitfire and Norma Jean. Scarlet's particular brand of metalcore um, experimented a lot more with uh, noise and a lot of chaos and uh, a lot of industrial elements. Um, really, Scarlet was responsible for uh, making me appreciate Deftones. Uh, when I first heard them, I, I drew comparisons to them uh, from Scarlet, as well as I would uh, blame my love for Nine Inch Nails now um, on loving Scarlet's album Cult Classic in my teens. So uh, I was I was very bummed out when this band broke up uh, back in 2008. I did manage to see them once, uh, but with, it was with a later vocalist um, who is the vocalist heard on the album. This was always meant to fall apart. Uh, that was my least favorite Scarlet release. It was still still good, but nothing compared to the just maniacal splendor of Cult Classic. Um, really. One of the things that has always made Scarlet so special to me is both the the vocal style, uh, delivery, and lyrical content of John Spencer. Um, he, he, you would also know his vocals from the Self Help and Cult Fiction uh, Spitfire albums, and these are just absolutely superb albums as well. I'll be talking about them, I'm sure, soon in the future. So. The reason why I wanted to talk about this band today that has been broken up for 12 years is because I just now uh, found out that Scarlet released two songs that I never knew existed. They released these songs back in 2009, I believe, um, or 2015. I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, Wikipedia also says that these two songs were released in 2014. So, I have no idea. Um, these songs are supposedly with the classic lineup, um, which uh, had John Spencer on vocals. Um, and I have never heard this before, and I decided to uh, do one of those cheesy reaction videos um, while I listened to it for the first time. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Okay, uh, so without further ado, um, these two tracks are titled The Acid Rain 1 and The Acid Rain 2. It looks like combined, these are only about 3 minutes and 40 seconds long. Um, so, um, oh, I understand. The music for this was recorded in 2009, but it was not released until uh, 2014. This sounds exactly like what Scarlet was to me. This... Oh, that's dirty, mathy, just frantic, frantic vocals. Lots of fun time changes. I don't know if you can see that. This is a longer blast beat than I'm used to hearing from them. More straightforward. Scarlet 
is great for these just guitar riffs, these super heavy, crunchy, uh, like sludgy guitar riffs. Before Scarlet had, was introducing me to sludge, before I knew what sludge was. There's an example of why I love uh, John Spencer's lyrics. I would have killed to see these guys live in their prime. I guess we're on to the acid green part two. I'm just super stoked. John Spencer, if you ever see this, please get the band back together. Do a tour, do a single show. Please do new music. Oh, that bass line is just dirty as anything. <laughs> Bring it back dirtier. These bumps came back. Those panic, panic chords just like sitting in the back of the mix. John Spencer, you're wrong. If you're referring to yourself as a forgotten rock star, you mean a lot. seconds and it's just everything that I loved about metalcore um, or even like any type of heavy music all all in three minutes and 40 seconds I, I love this band so much if anybody sees this from Scarlet or anybody that was involved in Ferret Records when Scarlet was uh, Scarlet was putting out music please get this band back together um, oh my gosh well, uh, I think I, I think I need to uh, do a, a cover, a Scarlet cover soon. Um, but please don't wait for something like that um, to listen to this band. If you've never listened to them before, um, go check them out. I'll have the links um, in the description of this video. Um, please follow. Please share. Uh, let me know if you had if you were a fan of Scarlet um, if you knew about these tracks what you think of them or if you have any other suggestions of like these one-off goodies um, forgotten um, releases from early 2000s metalcore bands please let me know because if I could miss something like this from one of my favorite bands ever that I've been listening to for like 20 years then who knows what I've missed so all right, thank you for watching. Yeah.